Hi, so let's continue our course. This is basically the third video in this course. And in this video, we go in to study the 3 volt and 5 volt circuit. So let's get started. So here, as you can see, this is the 3 volt, 5 volt circuit power. Here, as you can see, we have the 3 volt always. And here we have the 5 volt always. So in order to generate these two voltages, we need many components. So here we have the IC, as you can see. This is the, the control IC that is responsible to generate these two voltages. Besides of this IC, we, know we need also MOSFETs. Here, as you can see, this is the first channel. As you can see, for the 3 volt always, we have here two MOSFETs. This is basically a double MOSFET, okay? So we have its part number is FDS6982S. This is here a double MOSFET. Here we have inductor, okay? To increase the current. Here we have a chemical capacitor. And over here we have the ceramic capacitor. And this is the pad where we can check whether we get this 3 volt or not. So the same for the second channel, for the plus 5 volt always channel. So we have the IC that generate the control signal and we have two MOSFETs here. And then we have inductor, as you can see, L233. And of course, we have a chemical capacitor over here. This chemical capacitor has the purpose to filter the signal and we have another ceramic capacitor and here we have the pad pad 7 or test point and we will get plus 5 volt the main component to generate any voltage in the motherboard is the ic mosfets inductor the filtering capacitors and over here we have the pad when we can check the voltage so if we go here as you can see to these two motherboards so this is basically the 3 volt 5 volt circuit here we have the, the ic okay this is the ic here we have two inductors this inductor for 3 volt and this inductor for 5, for 5 volt here we have mosfets as you can see basically two mosfets here and two other MOSFETs in the back of this motherboard. And this is chemical capacitor. We have one chemical capacitor here with a ceramic capacitor. Chemical capacitor, a ceramic cap capacitor, and we have the pad. Okay? So, the IC here, inductor, chemical capacitor, ceramic capacitor, and we have the pad. And, of course, the MOSFET. So, if we go to the schematic, the same thing. IC, we have MOSFETs, this is inductor, we have a chemical capacitor and another serum capacitor. This is the part. This part is the same as this here. We have one part here, okay? And we have another here, as you can see, another here. Here, basically, this is the test point where we can check whether we, got, we get 5 volts and 3 volts or not. So, if we go to this circuit also, we have the IC here. This is the IC. This is the inductors, the two inductors, one for 3 volts and another for 5 volts. We have chemical capacitor. And over here, we have a ceramic capacitor. This is the part. Here also, inductor, chemical capacitor, with two ceramic capacitors here, chemical capacitor. This is the part here, okay? So, the main component in 3 volt, 5 volt circuit and any circuit in the motherboard are the IC, MOSFETs, inductor, capacitors, and the part, the test point. So, in order to generate these two voltages, we need first the VBAT, the plus VBAT, as you can see. Do you see plus VBAT here? And here we have page 7, as you can see. So, this plus VBAT goes where? 
Gauss from here. As you can see, this is the V-bat. This is the V-bat, basically. As you can see here, we have here V-bat. This is page 7 here. We have 7 here. Do you see the page? V-bat, we have page 7. And if we go here, as you can see, we have the V-bat, we have page 7. Also here, page 7. So here, we have 19 volts. So, as you can see, this is the DC drag. The 19 volt pass through this inductor and then goes directly to the switch, okay? And then pass through these resistors, current sense resistors, and here we get the plus V bat. So this plus V bat will be directed to these pages 35, 10, 9, 8, 7, and 5. Okay, so 7, if we go to 7, so in page 7, we have the plus 3 volt always and 5 volt always circuit. So here we have the plus V bat. Okay, so the 19 volt here. So let's begin with this one. The 19 volt, as you can see, it will be applied to this double MOSFET. And from this double MOSFET, the 3 volt will be generated. But of course, after receiving the control signals, do you see? Here we have the control signals. This is the gate for this MOSFET, and here we have the gate for this MOSFET. So the 3 volt will be generated and will pass through this inductor in order to increase the current and then through these two capacitors. This is a chemical capacitor, as you can see. So this type of capacitor is a polarized capacitor. And then we will get here plus 3 volt always. You can check it here using the multimeter. Okay, so the same also here. We have the 19 volt here. The 19 volt will pass, of course, through two capacitors. This is a filtering capacitor. And then through this MOSFET. Here we have the drain. These four pins are connected together. So after this MOSFET receives the control signal here, as you can see, in its gate, it will generate a voltage, about 5 volt here. Okay, so the 5 volt will pass through this inductor. Okay, we have L33. And then will go and pass through this capacitor. This is a filtering capacitor. So the value of this chemical capacitor is 220 microfarad, 6.3 volts, and then we will get 5 volt. You can check it out here in this pad using the multimeter. As I told you before, this pad is this. This is the pad here. Always the pad is near the chemical capacitor. This is the pad for 3 volt, and here we have another pad for 5 volts.